channel so I've got a different type of video for you guys today if you've been following my channel for a while you know that we're getting a puppy so so excited so I wanted to share with you guys some of the things that I've got I could call this a puppy haul but every time I hear somebody say puppy haul I think so did you haul a bunch of puppies no basically I'm gonna show you guys the essentials that I bought for a puppy and these are things that I've obviously research, you know, through Pinterest, through other YouTube videos. These are the things that I bought without actually having the puppy first, and that's okay. It's gonna be trial and error, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got. First things first, puppy food. And I have two types of puppy food, actually. First is the dry kibble, because I will be feeding my puppy raw and kibble. So my puppy will be fed kibble in the morning, and then raw in the evening. And the raw food is actually from Big Country Raw. It's in the freezer right now. But you can find this at your local pet value um, stores, uh, things like that, and they're a Canadian-based company. And then the dry food is through Acana, which again, you can get at your independent pet stores. The other things that I got for my puppy as well to help with things like training and basically training, uh, our puppy treats. So we got some a can of treats here. So we got the duck formula. No, I'm sorry, that's pork. And this one is the duck formula. So different kinds, just to see what she's gonna like. And then I also got crumps naturals. So I'm really trying to go with natural foods for the puppy. Um, the more research that I'm doing, the more that I'm seeing a lot of these treats that we thought were really healthy when we had our dog back like how many years ago are actually not very, very good for your puppy. So I'm trying to stay very, very natural. I didn't buy huge bags of treats yet because she may not like them. So we'll see how these go. And I also got a little oh, portable water food thingy. Okay, so the next thing, I feel like I have to go through like my checklist and as a planner of course i'm using my happy planner mini daily sheet to make sure i'm covering everything properly <laughs> i love this one it's a poop scoop um my sister laughed at me because she's like your pooper scooper is so tiny that's because our puppy she's gonna be or she is a cockapoo she's gonna only be about 20 pounds she's tiny and i don't want to go through the yard and actually pick up her poop so pooper scooper and basically and you can actually put the poop bag, box of poop <laughs> bags on here so that you don't actually have to touch it. So you can actually pick up the poop with the bag and then just put it straight in the garbage. And then a box of poop, pad, poop pads, poop bags. The next thing to actually relate to that is these washable pet pads. I also did buy some um, disposable pee pads, but I really want to stick to reusable or washable pet pads just because, I mean, for environmentally friendly purposes. But again, these I bought off Amazon. I have two of them, so hopefully that'll be enough, but I did buy some extra disposable pee pads just in case. And obviously I will link all of these down below in the description. But I bought the oatmeal coconut and lime verbena based shampoo. I also brought, bought a brush, which I think might be too big for her. And I also bought nail clippers, which I think now could possibly be too big for her. But um, with the type of dog that we're going to get, she's going to need daily grooming, daily brushing. Obviously the baths won't be daily, but at least getting her used to being brushed, getting used to her nail clippers. We will see if I will attempt to um, do the grooming on my own. That could be something further down the line. But yes, shampoo, brush, and nail clipper. I think I might have to invest in a comb as well though, but we'll see. I bought these little toothbrushes. I don't know if you guys can see that, but these little toothbrushes. Um, and I actually didn't buy toothpaste. I've been watching Rachel Fazzaro and she has a recipe made with coconut oil and baking soda for the puppy. So it's very natural and that's actually what I'm gonna do for our puppy. But I bought these teeny tiny toothbrushes just so you know we can practice that, but I do have to get her used to it first. I have a few 
leashes. So I have one really long leash. I think this one is 10 meters, 10 meters. And this is actually what our trainer um, has suggested that we get. So kind of like a house line. And then just a regular six foot leash. But to match that, oh, hold on, sorry. And then one more leash is a house line. So I have three leashes. I may not need them all, but I have three leashes. I also got her a teeny tiny harness. Like look how small that is. But I bought a small one and then I bought a much bigger one, not knowing what size she is yet. So we will see, but this is so cute. Like look at how cute and it matches the leash. One of the things we also got for Lucy was this little, little dog tag how cute is this and this is from mint and jolie on etsy they are a canadian company and i love purchasing from canadian uh, companies but they it's just in the shape of a dog bone and it's got like florals on it and then on the back you can put your phone number and your address but i just love the look of that so that is lucy's collar so excited this one hasn't been set up yet but it's i'm going to show you guys this is basically a car seat for the puppy. So what you're actually going to do is there's straps that um, attach to the back seat headrest and then straps that attach to the front seat headrest. And then it's kind of like a little box that you can put her in. And I'll put her in there with some blankets and things like that. So this will be good to transport her in tomorrow. Very excited. My sister suggested that I get something like this. So it is like a little water bottle for dogs, but it has a compartment in the bottom for treats, but it also has the compartment for water. And then this little button here actually allows you to transfer the water from here into here so that puppies can just drink water straight from there. So you don't have to bring a separate bowl. And then it's got, got a little carabiner. So that is what my sister recommended. And a Kong. I don't know how many of you guys are familiar with this, but this is basically for chewing. And I got the small kind just for the puppy. So there are different kinds. They're different colors depending on uh, how old your dog is, but also the how much your dog chews. Um, my sister has a much older, not a much older, but an older dog. So her Kong is bigger and red. The pink and the blue ones are made for puppies. And she's teeny, so we got a little one. but these kongs you can fill with their food peanut butter things like that and they're like a puzzle feeding toy so i'm excited for her uh, to use that next we got a whole bunch of toys and when it came to toys there were certain things that um, i tried to stay away from um, but also things that i thought would be really good now i'm sorry i bought this because well it was only a dollar at pet value, um, and it's cute, and it's something that, you could, sorry, it's something that would, I mean, it makes a sound, it squeaks, it's not something that she's probably going to chew on it, because I don't want her to uh, accidentally bite something and then swallow it, so maybe not the best choice of a toy, but I thought it was cute. Um, and then I bought um, this little pack of toys from Amazon, and it came with six toys, so it came with these three and these each have squeakers and I like that it's a longer shape and then this donut Does this donut have a squeaker yes the donut and then the cow which is actually really cute and the cow also has a squeaker but the difference with these toys is that they're a different shape they also have uh, different texture to them so they're not all the same texture and I'm obviously not going to give her all these three toys all at once and these are interactive toys so these are not something that I would leave in her crate with her or just let her play without us these are toys that the kids and I will play um, with her with with her with the other toys that also came in that little pack were these little rope toys so little rope with the balls at the end this one and these ones I probably won't give her these two right off the bat because I'm afraid of her swallowing these but they're these two I think are very very good options and then we my daughter and I went to pet value and saw we grab her a little toy and we found this chicken. I like it because it has the different textures, it has the squeaker, but it also has kind of like a rope toy at the end. So there's different things that I look for with the toy. You want the squeaker, you want the different textures of the fabric, um, the different shapes as well within one toy. So you've got the long, skinny, you've got the bigger one here so she can fit it in her mouth. So 
I never thought I would look into toys as much as I have. So another cute toy here. I'm gonna grab. Now when it comes to a two toy, I actually purchased this Nyla Bone, and this is something that is small enough for her, um, and this is something that you could leave in the crate. This is something I will leave in the crate with her, but it smells like beef broth. It's absolutely disgusting, but they love it. The next thing I'm going to show you guys is the other stuff that I have bought for her. So just one sec here. One of the things that I did buy is um, I didn't buy one of those baby gates because they're clunky, they're really hard to work with, and I found this. Now, this could be a huge mistake, but we're going to try it. So it is a baby gate of some sort. So you See, so we it's locked and then we unlock it, and then drag it across, and it locks on the side there. Clip it like that, and it will hopefully, hopefully prevent her, but I can already see her trying to crawl under here, but it's a measure. We've got one in the front door and we've got one in the back door. So that's one of the other purchases that I've made. I like this because it's easier to pull back, close, and again, it's not as clunky as a baby gate. The other things I got for her as well are this little dog bed. Now this dog bed will probably reside in my office. So she won't be using it as much up here. It'll probably be in my office. And then we got a crate or a kennel for her. And what my husband did, because this crate is huge, we bought it for basically an adult sized dog, about a 20 pound dog. It's gonna be too big for her. So what my husband did was, actually I'm gonna put you guys in there. He built a barrier in there so that she will only use the front half because if a kennel is too big, puppy's gonna start using the back part as their bathroom and then the front part as their bedroom and I don't really want that. So my husband has built that barrier. The next thing we also bought was this fence, this kind of pet exercise pen fence. And um, again, it came from Amazon. Not too bad in terms of construction and it's just a little area that I can put her in if I can't watch her that moment so when I'm cooking something like that I also bought her her own water dish and bowl uh, food bowl it won't stay there all the time but it's there for now and then that is the pee pad so that is it for me thank you guys so much for watching I know this is a ton of stuff and I don't know if I even covered everything but this is what um, I've accumulated or purchased over the last few months. I didn't purchase this all at once just because it wouldn't have fit in my budget if I purchased it all at once. So I purchased a little bit at a time. Now, when it comes to once we actually have her, I'm sure I will have to purchase a few things because some of these may not fit her and that's okay. But I will keep you guys updated. We are picking her up tomorrow and I say tomorrow, I'm filming this on Friday. We're picking her up tomorrow and Saturday. So by the time you guys are watching this, we may already be driving to pick her up, which is so exciting. And then I will be posting more videos. I'll try and post maybe two videos a week about puppy life along with all the planner stuff. So thank you guys for sticking around. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to leave links in the description below for as many of these things as I can. Um, otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching and have yourselves a great day.